Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Annette. And your boy, Stanley. Back again with power. Yes, indeed. I'm, I'm going to just say this. The last few episodes, they ain't been giving me skit. Everybody else been enjoying them. A yeah. couple of reviewers don't say the same thing we saying, but like, you know, look, we know it's a builder. Yeah. But why do I have to feel like I'm on trial too? So, um, this one gave it to me this week. Yeah, this is a good episode um, tonight. The title was We're In This Together. We're In This Skit Together. And I couldn't have named a better title yeah. for this. Yeah, it was perfect. Perfect title for I this said, episode. So, hope y'all had a great weekend. We did. You yeah, know. indeed. If it shows in our face, then you know we had a good weekend. <laughs> so, we're going to get this review out the way. Get y'all on your way. Yes, indeed. And let's do it. Here we go. I, rest in peace, Charlie Murphy. But at this time, he's starting to get on my <laughs> everlasting nerves. Now, I understand he, you know, messing with Ghost because he feel like Ghost killed one of his, you know, cop friends, whatever. But you're doing a little too much play, you know. Yeah, he putting 20 on Yeah, time. Ghost in there trying to get his freaking pump on, hitting the weights, you know. And here he gonna go try to choke him, not try, but choke him with the goddamn weights. Talking about some ain't no need looking at them cameras like yeah, that. They, they ain't, ain't been working for years. Why in the hell they still up there then? That's the blind spot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what they do. They get me in the blind spots. So I'm like, just, just, just leave him, just, just leave him alone. Like Michael said, just leave me alone. <laughs> <Shut the hell. laughs> I ain't no single, but that's what Michael said. Just, just leave him alone. So now we got John Mock confronting Angela about offering Ghost that deal, which we already knew she that don't she don't acted all by herself. She wanted to step outside of the crowd. That they, they don't want her in here anyway, but hmm. they found out she's a valuable asset because she was banging ghosts. So, <laughs> and that's how I go though. Yeah, uh huh. So, he was like, Why'd you go off him a deal? We didn't tell you to do that. Um, so, how do you know if he um, took the deal that I was gonna prove it? I'm like, Who are you? If it's John Mock. Yeah. So, <laughs> if Ghost accepted the deal, you would have been like, Woohoo, we got him. But, Take him yeah. down. Case is over. No more work for you. You get the check. Going on back to the race car at Fast and Furious, and you all good. You all good, pal. How about that? Huh. Huh. <laughs> so Ghost meets up with but Jack you and huh? that um, John Mark told her said, "Hey, now that you don't already step your foot back into the game, you need to go full throttle now. Yeah, you need to go yeah, back. Yeah. And, you need to go back and visit the wife." Yeah. And figure out what she knows and what mm -hmm. she's willing to do if she's willing to turn over on her husband. Yeah. Since you want to play games, let's go. all the way on through. I said, oh, hell. So, then we see uh, freaking um, Terry Silver, A-Hole, and Proctor meet again mm. to discuss the gun. So, hey, go Terry on his bull skit again. What you need to tell us about the gun? Go say, I already told you, it's not my gun. It's not my gun. What else you want me to tell you? I didn't plant that gun. And come on now, I mean, at this point, it should be obvious that a person, if you kill somebody, you're not going to take the murder weapon and plant it in, in a place house. where you at. Yeah, your house or yeah. your business. Most of the time, you see people taking, throw that skit in the river, throw that skit down in the woods, wrap it up in some paper and put it in somebody else's mailbox, whatever. I, it, you don't do that because you know the police is going to come looking where you stay at. Yeah, that so, makes no sense. So I'm like, I don't trust Terry, but at the same time, he done done some good stuff for ghosts. You know, he got the, cra the traffic cam thing from the other week. Hell, everybody could have yeah. did that. So, you know, everybody, like, yeah. I, I could have did that. Yeah, but I, I, I don't know. But there was one part in there where Ghost had got real angry at the questions that Terry was asking him. Yeah. And he was like, see that right there? That's going to get you bucked up. Mm -hmm. Act like that in court if you want to. And that right there... They ain't going to hear nothing else you got to say. They're going to see an angry black man. And we're going to talk about that a little yeah. later on. But at the same time, you a black man freaking going in on another black man. So he pissed off. off. Yeah, you pissing me off. We ain't on trial right now. We behind the balls. And I'm, I want to punch you in the face. Yeah. That's just the look that you, Ghost got in his eyes. Look, you supposed to be helping me. Yeah. The only way Ghost ain't going to let loose on him because of Proctor. Because Proctor said, trust me on this. I was like, I don't know. I don't know this dude. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Can, can we go back to the drawing boards? I don't like him. <laughs> yeah, I don't even like him. So that's when we that's why he was like, man, you sure about this dude, man? Probably you gotta trust me, man. Only, it's your only hope. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know. Say so so, he got OJ off or something? <laughs> he must do it. Because I'm like, unless you did that booze kid, I don't want to 
told you. Yeah. So now we got Angela on her bull skit again. She go see Tasha again. I don't even know why in the world Tasha even went to meet with her. That's what I was trying to figure out. I was like, why? why are you even there? You don't like the chick. She done slept with your husband. Now you still meeting with her. So here she go talking about some. Did you know that I offered Jamie a deal to get off of the case? She, did you know that? She said, yes, I did. And you, yes, I, I did. Like, no, you didn't know. No, she didn't know. But you know, she had to play, she had to play the game. She had to play the part. But of course, we know Ghost didn't um, take the deal. And um, I, at this point, Tasha just need to just smack the hell out of Angela. Yes, she did. I mean, you ain't on trial yet. Because she was like, don't you know that pretty much both of us on the chopping block, Ghost on the kill by itself. So if Ghost don't go down, you're you going to go me. down because I told him if he don't take the deal, I can bring you on trial as a accomplice. And if you don't comply with that, you can go to jail, and then if everything don't go right, I can go to jail. So we both go down. He walk free. And she was like, "Aren't you? Ain't you tired of this man screwing us both? Basically? Yeah, screwing us both. And one like, way or well, the other, who is you? You the side chick. <laughs> so some people don't agree with us. You the side chick, but she is the side chick. Listen, everybody like food, right? Let me go ahead and break it down to you. <laughs> you have your meat, if you're a meat eater. Yeah." You got your macaroni and cheese and you got your green beans on the side. Mm -hmm. What's the main dish? The meat. That's right. Tasha is the meat and Angela is the side. Boom. Boom, boom, pow. I, I don't know any that, other way to put it. That, that's it. That's it. And Tasha was like, no. I ain't full of bullshit. She walked away. No. I ain't, I ain't trying to hear what you got to say. Which I was like, cool. I'm so glad that she did. But it was a worthless freaking scene. It was a worthless meetup. Yeah. Why? I only know why. So now we got Keisha coming over to Tasha house. She see these blankets on and got them on um, chair. And she was Man, like, oh, jacket. Like, uh, what? Man, you got stand over here. She said, oh, Tommy's standing over here. You know, I ghost. Said, oh, hell. Ghost told him to come over here and make sure we all right, me and the kids all right. And she was like, this Keisha was like, you think that's a good idea with ghost? Look, get a little yeah. jealous. I'm like, yeah, you getting jealous. Like don't out yourself now. Uh huh. Don't don't get don't be getting in. You got don't feelings now. But also remember, um, Keisha also told Tommy said, "Hey, keep our relationship to yourself." Exactly. Because Tasha has a tendency to go after everything that I get that's good. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting here like, oh lord. She thinking about that. She think about that. <laughs> Like she over here rocking, knocking boots with my dude now. But I know Tasha wouldn't do that. She wouldn't. No, nah, she wouldn't mess with um, Tommy like that. They almost no, like not they almost, yeah. They like brothers and sisters, and, yeah. you know. So I, I know. If it was that. somebody else, I'll look at her kind of crazy. But I'm, mm -hmm. Yeah, cause anytime Watch her. she she slept with uh, what you call her, Kane or something. What her name? I can't even remember his name. Sean. Sean. She slept with Sean, so I don't. Man, nah, she wouldn't sleep with time. I ain't. Gonna put I that wouldn't on. do time. No, nah, I know. I, nah, I wouldn't put that on her. So then we see uh, Tariq's sister snooping around his room, and she found all this money. And he coming there cussing her out. He, he getting he, he get on my nerves. He he can go. He's smelling himself now. I mean, he came and got him on the stupid skit. <laughs> like he don't care about nothing. Mm -hmm. It just I don't know. So get the f out of my room. Yeah. Stay out of my effing business. And I'm sitting here like Raina. Your nails are real cute right now. Yeah. Take them nails and scratch his freaking eyes out. I is don't it? care he your brother or I, not, but I'm still <laughs> pissed off because why is it, like Mike B said, why is this boy being able to walk around free and willy-nilly like he is? Uh-huh. Mama don't never know where he at. Untamed. And I know he been skipping school, so, you know, yeah, she think he in school, but there's a lot of times when he not in school. Nope. And... No one knows what well, first of all, why they, they paying all that good money to be in their school? Why ain't it being reported back to them? I remember when I was in school, and I used to skip school. And we were free. Them jokers would call my mom and them and tell them that they ain't see me at school. And, and, and we were free school. Yeah, we were here. Yeah, free school. And I'll come home and be like, well, you... And you know, mamas don't never ask you straight. Mm -hmm. They be like, um, how was school today? How was school today? Yeah, mama was good, you know, da, da, da. It's like, yeah, okay. Um, So what's this? The principal said you won't dare today. Uh... uh I, uh, I left early. Yeah, you didn't even make it. I left early. <laughs> so she gonna know you lying anyway, mm -hmm. but she gonna set you up. <laughs> yeah. Yes, indeed. So, uh, then this was the scene right here. Another hearing where Proctor was trying to get the gun thrown out. Which <laughs> I was like, yes. So they had the black dude on the stand. I, we couldn't remember his name to save our life, but like yeah. Mike B say, it, it don't even matter. matter. But it, see, it don't even Look, matter. he's the <laughs> only black one there. Yeah, yes. yes. <laughs> Except for Terry. So Proctor started going in on him was like, uh, 
you was in there alone when you found the gun. You didn't have nobody in there present with you. So maybe you killed Greg, you planted a gun to try to frame freaking pa uh, St. Patrick. <laughs> he said that that black dude went off. He said, you son of a bee. He said, this is bullshit. <laughs> this is bullshit. I go to work yeah. every day, work hard. hard for my job. And if some bees like you, no, he said, if that's yeah, like you is the ones getting people off and to be in jail, F you. <laughs> John, they were looking at him like, no, 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 no. Then he gonna stare it. Angry black, black man. <laughs> and I said, ooh, good looking out, Terry. He said, see that right there? The judge was like, you know what? Mm, I'll make a decision in a little bit. Uh -huh. I said, oh, that gun get no, thrown out. He asked John to say any further question. He was like, no. no. Yeah, he just he just blew that bullshit get all for them Probably going did on. his thing, though, because he did. Yeah. He, he raised a good case. He said, you was there alone. Uh-huh. He said, and everybody that reported back to you that found something are people that you signed. You gave the signature for them to do what they were doing, right? Yeah. They work for you. Uh-huh. You told them to cut the cameras off, huh? Uh-huh. Said, you the mole. Yeah, you the mole. <laughs> I said, ooh. And the guy doing real killer is sitting there like. Yeah. But you can but you can see that the layers of his cover-up is being pulled back layer after mm -hmm. layer after and layer. And he know it. And eventually... It's going to point back to him. But I don't want to spill the beans. We're going we're gonna to talk about the end in a minute because I, I think that's where it's going to really get real. We saw Tommy pretty much made the drop of the 20 Gs, the first drop for the dude. Don't even matter. But, yeah, he made the drop. Ghost told him to question him about a guy named Robert Stil is it Stiletti. Stiletti. Yeah, and so he started questioning. That chose Stiletti. Yeah, so he started questioning the dude about that. It was like, you know. How far you been in the game? Who you done killed? What's the, what's the best thing you done done in the game? And the guy couldn't come through and couldn't say nothing. So, so when they said Stiletti, he, he was, was like, like Aru. <laughs> so Tommy knew right there, I got you. Yeah. Got you covered. I got you. I got you. So Tony called to verify that his payment was delivered. <laughs> and so when he was talking to the dude, the wife overheard the conversation was like, he was like, yeah, that's that's him. And she was like, him who? Who, who, who is that? What who you talking him? about? Tony ain't never kept no. She went off. Tony ain't never kept no secrets from me. She was. He was like, you know what? It don't even matter. He got them. He getting the money for you to get your surgery so you can be cancer free, so you can be healed. The she Lord said, can take care of that. She said, Buck Buck all that. that. <laughs> who, who is he? Who is he? I said, mm, <laughs> she. He the side piece of yeah. your son. <laughs> And Tony said, hey, did you lay eyes on my son? That's him. Uh-huh. Yep. So y'all put it together. Y'all was right. I, I believe it totally now that it is the son. I believe it is. Yeah, that's the son. So now we have another uh, porno by Tommy and uh, Keisha. But this time, y'all said it ain't fair that Keisha ain't no show no skins. But she gave y'all some A and some titties tonight. Yeah, she did. Well, you ain't see all of the A, but you saw the titties. You saw one titty. Yeah, you saw one titty. That's... <laughs> but just like we got Tommy about the white, the white boy stroke. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Keisha, you, you had the, the the white girl bounce. Yeah, you, that that it that was ride. Like, what what's what this? kind of ride game? What, what's what's that? You that, ain't doing nothing that, but working the tilt. Yeah, that, I mean, what <laughs> you do? I'm gonna come on. You got we gotta do better than that. Yeah. yeah. You gotta represent. You ain't represent as well. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta you gotta represent. But I believe she can do stuff in real life. But I don't know why you let them make you do that like that. Yeah. Cause that mess your reputation up in these yeah, streets. Yeah, yeah, you make us look bad. But that's all right. But we'll, we'll catch you next time mm -mm. on that. So now we found out how Tariq been getting these codes to this house. Yeah. So pretty much they've been invited. He been act like he these people's friends and go play the friggin' um Nintendo with them. Drink some lean. And what he do is when they put the code in, he looking yeah. over their back, get the code. Then he texted it to time um to Kane and them. Then they come in the house and start robbing them while they in there. But then they're making all this noise and stealing flat screen TVs. Really? A you, two to three hundred dollar TV? That's what, what you coming in here and get? And looking for weed. That's what, some ghetto what, black what, stuff what? for your hind part. What? Cause what I what I thought was gonna happen, I thought that they was gonna run upstairs and act like they robbing the place. Right. Get the get the boy to show them where the good stuff is at. That's what I thought they was gonna no. do. Nah, but they down there making all this noise like it's their house. And driving a um, what is it, an adult daycare? Yeah, man. And just man. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, y'all down there making a the noise, and the boy heard him. We're like, you know what? I think I need to call the security place. So I heard some noise. Tariq was like, nah. Nah, he you know, on his go, feet, though. Yeah, go and drink some old lean and go ahead and play this game. I'll go check it out. He said, why would, don't call no security. 
We drinking lean. Yeah, we and drinking we lean. skip at school. Yeah, they say what you that. want. Dude was like, yeah, you right, you right. And Tariq been there still with y'all. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I was, like, you. I was like, both time you do something right, Tariq. I was like, yeah, y'all trying to rob the place and y'all all loud. <laughs> Say, oh, I can't do it. Yeah, so I was like, dang. So we see Tasha going to the school to confront the principal because she pissed off the paparazzi out there in front of the school taking pictures of her kids. She was like, all this money we paying y'all and y'all ain't protecting the safety of my kids. <laughs> well, the lady said, first of all, let me get you straight. <laughs> yeah. We ain't never had a person in this school, parents on trial for murdering a federal agent. And Tasha, she went complete. She said, he innocent. He ain't do it. it and like, she oh. said, and I think I pay enough money, money to have my kids safe and protected. Why? She said, while we're on the subject of uh -huh. money. Yeah, you know. Your last tuition payment bounced. Mm -hmm. She said impossible. Yeah, we got the money. We we good. We straight. She said try it again. She said mm. the financial institution said that um they're not going to honor any more payments from the accounts of you and your husband. So if um we don't get that payment by next year week, you kids both of your kids suspended. I said but that's crazy oh, though. Lord. It's kind of crazy though how I'm pretty sure they done been in that school for years. And, and they one, make one payment. One payment gonna throw them out on their head. Hmm. Say so at least your mortgage will give you with three? Uh, yeah, they at least give you three months. <laughs> you gotta be like three months behind. The second month they'll send you a foreclosure notice. Yeah. And, and the third month they'll throw you out. But y'all mama back in 08 when the market crashed, people was in their house for years. Yes. Not making no payments. Cause, Cause the bank, bank ain't even they, they couldn't afford to take them back. You know, it was at that point they was they was worthless. So we see the feds done took this thing to a whole nother level. They done went and Keisha coming out of her shop. They was like, this place been seized. We shutting this bush get down. You ain't doing no more hell until they further ain't notice. Selling no bundles. Yeah. She was like, F y'all, you can't shut my skit down. They said so, just did. Yeah, so they took and put a chain on the door and locked that bush get up. She called Tasha like, what the, did you call the feds and lock my shop up? She's like, look, this is my only means of income. I don't get 401k. I don't get no goddamn yeah. vacation time. So this Wait, is my man. money right here. This is hey. This is this is my bread. Like Stephen Jason, this is my bread. And, so, and then we see they went over the truth. The truth shut that bull skit down. Dre was like, oh, oh, skit. Uh, Julio, uh, all uh, y'all got a problem. Yeah, we got a problem. They done that's this. where the money's at. Yeah, cause you know they pushing the red drugs through that that bull skit. So. Uh, so we see uh, Dre go over to um, got doing Canaan's and be like, you know, here your payment. But uh, I ain't going to be able to make next month because they done shut truth down. He like, that ain't my problem. You need to figure like it out. Your problem. Which I knew he was going to tell him that because, yeah. I mean, you know, what you if, if we lose our job tomorrow, we can't call them. Boy, come be like, you know what? I ain't got we it. We ain't got no payment next month for you. He's like, well, you you signed the paperwork. You need That's to figure that out your yourself. Problem. Yeah, not my problem. Like, like, uh, what you call it? Say, oh, not, not my, my problem. problem. <laughs> <laughs> so then he see um Tariq over there. He was like, what is he doing, doing here? here? Candace said he in here having a good time. time. He was like, man, I took and told you that's you supposed to stay away from him. He said, but little nigga keep coming over here. So, yep. hey, what you going to do? He yep. said, and I suggest you go back home to that pretty, mm -hmm. that, that pretty little daughter of yours. And at that time, you know, Dre was like, hold on. You just threatened me without threatening me. Uh-huh. I'm I, gone. I, Andre the dinosaur said, you know what? I, I leave. I'm gone. But he did try one more stab at trying to get Tariq up out of there. He said, Tariq, I think you need to go home. But. Tariq like, was looking at that puss. He was looking at that girl. Looking at that girl. And see, see that's the thing. It's like when you when you young, the money and the booty will get, get you every time. time. So Canaan is giving him everything that a young guy wants. Giving him the sense of family and love. Mm. He's feeling that. A gang. Yep. He giving him money. Giving them freaking lean so he can get fucked up. Yeah, he got weed. He had over there hitting the blunt. He coughing. It was like, that's your first time? He's like, nah. Because I was like, he inhaled, oh, hey, where he, inhaled it. But he was choking because he hit it too hard. But yeah, but he know what he was doing. And bring a chicken there. So you got money, sex, drugs, family, hey. and puss. They say it is a big rich, rich town. town. <laughs> I, I just happened. Come from the poorest part. Him, not him, though. So at this point, he he, he ain't going to be able to see straight past that. And anybody tell him it's a trap, he wouldn't even be able nah. to even know. But he didn't even know what to do with the girl. When he went back in the room with him, they she, back there talking about life. I said, 
Is y'all a married couple or what? Like, what you talking about? She yeah. had to take her hand and put it on her. Yeah. It was like, all right, it's going to be cool. It's good. And I said, okay, of course they cut that off. I said, because what we not going to do is watch no yeah. underage That's what I agree to say. Yeah, I agree to say. I know they ain't here. going that And route. then I said, you know what? I said, you so stupid, Tariq, because he's probably a virgin. He mm -hmm. probably ain't prepared for this. Probably ain't got the condom in the first. He nope. gonna probably go up in that chick raw, get some, or or she gonna pop out some. Mm -hmm. And then we gonna have another problem on our hands. Cause I was like back in the day, I ain't went. When I went back there. I ain't do no talking. It was no. all smashing. Yeah, I mean that's what you went back at for. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, yep. So, that's what we got. So. This part pissed me off because uh, old John them them played the punk card. That's what I'm gonna call it. Punk card. Oh, John Ma. Yeah, John Ma played the punk card to go into the courtroom and tell the judge that pretty much is a conflict of interest for a jo for a proctor to be on the case because he represented Egan in a previous case and now he representing uh freaking uh Ghost. Patrick. So he was like he needs to be thrown off the case. So they was meeting in the judge's room and the judge was like, well, yeah, you know that is a conflict of interest because um, Ghost turned out a deal, and so that's a conflict of interest. Proctor, you off the case. I was like, you know what? You know, and Proctor was like, good. you know, Judge, you know, the only reason why they doing this is because I'm kicking their ass. And that's what and I'm and like. And the Judge was looking at him like, yeah, yeah, but it still is a conflict of interest. And I'm like. He said, I don't know who you really working for at this point. Yeah, and like he said, at this point, they put them on scratching for straws. Anything they can find to try to win this case. And what's their evidence and what they doing is so weak. So, to eliminate him. I'm scared for ghosts now because I, I don't trust Terry. So even Terry said, hey, well, if you're going to do this, then we're too far in and we're too close to this um, actual trial date. Yeah. This needs to be handled as a mistrial. The judge said, oh, pump your brakes. Don't get too um, froggy. Do not leap. Do not leap. Do nope. not leap. He was like, nope. We're going to move forward. And I think y'all got enough time to scratch up something. If he's really innocent, then they'll make it do what it do. And I said, you know what? This is bold. I said, we got to go stuck with this dude it's like, by himself. I don't like it. Oh, Lord Jesus. Like, Ghost going to end up choking him in that guy doing sitting room. Where Black China's lawyer at? Yeah. <laughs> Where she at? Somebody. God, don't. <laughs> uh, Johnny Crocker and somebody. Please come represent Ghost. <laughs> come on out. Come Rise and come represent <laughs> because we need you. So, Crocker all bucked up now. So, he went to the bar and drunk a little bit of Hennessy and Coke. Got all bucked up and then went over there and see Angela and was like, why in the hell did you get me thrown off the case? Well, I ain't do it. It was John. He the one that did it. Like, no, you was the one pretty much that did all this right here. Mm -hmm. What you got to realize is that everything that Ghost did, he did all that. No, he said, that son of a did all that for you. And I tried to talk some and sense. And I tried to him. talk some sense and what she did, because Ghost laid it. All on the line. His kids, his family, his business. All of that for you. And here you go and try to get him locked up for a murder that you know he didn't do. She know he didn't do it. And he kept saying, he said, Angela, you know that's not his gun. Yeah. It's not his gun. So if that's not his, then everything else falls apart. Exactly. And it made her think. Yup. So by that time, he was walking away. He was like, don't forget, you don't got the gun. Because you know they got that thrown out. The gun is no longer evidence. The so, DNA is no longer evidence. So now Angela's like, mm. And we saw her yeah. start texting somebody. Yeah, she named, texted a guy um, named Daryl and said, Get me the surveillance footage from uh, St. Patrick's office. I uh, said, yes, yes, yes. Finally, yes. finally, finally. Um, but we're going to back up a little bit. We forgot the scene where Proctor was over there with um, Greg's friend, the other federal agent. Was this Bradley? I, I think Bradley. Bradley. I, I can't even remember. Like Mike y'all know who he is. Yeah, y'all know who he is by this time. But um, he ended up playing the freaking video, my video, the audio of... Off of Ruiz. Yeah, off of Ruiz when Tommy killed Ruiz and when he was talking about when they killed Lobos. So at this point, the agent was like, with this evidence right here, you need to get Ghost to roll over on Tommy Egan, and that's it. So by this time, we saw somebody come out the shadows. That's an old skit. Say, who is that? It got on Tommy came in there and stabbed that joke about three, four times and took him down. Proctor's like, what the fuck did you do that for? This is a federal agent. He was like, well, I just made your job easy. 
And he said, and we're in this together. And we're too. in this together. So I made your job easier so you can't make ghosts roll over on me. Which he I was said, he wasn't gonna roll, roll them on, on you. you. And Thomas said, so did Ghost know about this audio? He said, yes. That's why he broke into Knox's um, house trying to get the audio so that he could save your butt. Thomas, Thomas was like, oh, oh, okay. Yeah. So that, that got him right back in order uh -huh. to let him know that, okay, my boy wasn't going to rat on me. Mm -hmm. He was going to roll over on me. And now he was like, hey, but give me the laptop. I'll destroy the evidence. He was like, like, no, I need that. I need this because I need to figure out if this the only guy doing copy. Yeah. Take your crazy A and do what you do and let me, me do, do what me, I do. Yeah. I let, said, me, let me handle the law and you handle the street. I said, Lord have mercy <laughs> now. Is Proctor going to get framed for this man's murder? What is happening here? And poor ghost, when Proctor had to go and visit him to tell him as a visitor. Yeah. That he was like, why are you on this side of the glass? Why are we not in the attorney's office? office yeah. In the attorney's um, meeting room, he said, because I'm not your attorney anymore, he said, what you... He said, <laughs> you fool, <what> you <laughs> He said, no, nah, I got kicked off the case. Conflict of interest. Yep. He said, Terry's your guy now. He said, hey, that's some scary. He said, huh? What? You gonna leave me with this dude? He said, it's the only chance you that's got. That's your only hope. Hung the phone up. Hung the Oof. phone up and just... <sighs> he pissed. He done got hung up on a few times. Because when Tasha came down and told go, she yeah. said, listen, <laughs> I heard you done made a deal. And, and you had a little gift. You didn't take your gift, but I got a little gift too. I didn't take mine either. But the next time you decide to make some decisions, you better realize that we in this together. Exactly. Don't you make not near L out of decision without me. And she hung up on Dude. I said, now how is it that you get hung up on and walked out on in the same goddamn motion? Poe goes. <laughs> But he did all this skit. Yeah, he did all this skit. Yeah. I feel sorry for him because, like I said, he don't killed 999. Like, like, my, like my but mom. Just the one he didn't do. Like my mom used to tell me, you said you made your bed hard, now you got to lay in it. I used to hate when she used to say uh -huh. that boy. Like God, shut up, Bob. <laughs> so, the last scene of the night, we see Tasha. I mean, Tasha. Angela gets the surveillance and she go through and all that stuff it was like fast forward fast forward fast forward fast forward fast forward And she finally got to the scene where she saw ghosts walking around the office mm -hmm. And so she was looking at the evidence um, Freaking photo and she was looking at him and was like, okay, let's see if he gonna go with it to the bar and plant this gun And guess what? He, ain't gonna he walked here. out the door and she was like <gasps> And I said, what oh you gonna God. do? So now what you gonna do? But yeah. then we did forget another part though when um um Tony came back in there after oh, yeah. the money thing, after the money had dropped or whatever. And he said, huh, my guy told me that the money was dropped. Go said, but that's going to be your last drop. He said, oh, no, no. This ain't how it works. You're going to pay for my wife to continue getting treatment. He said, listen, you know about me, but I, I know, know something, something about, about you. you. He said, you killed that um, Stiletti guy. Stiletti, whatever the name is. Yeah, whatever. Oh, Tony said, you know I'm in here for multiple um, life sentences, right? So another life sentence ain't go and yeah. for killing somebody yeah, like I ain't you. got nothing to lose at this point. He said it's going to give me prison cred if you actually tell them that I really did do this. So it's not going to hurt me. He said, but the Stiletti family, they ain't going to take too kindly to knowing that you, you did this. Mm -hmm. And that your poor wife is out there without you yep. as, their, as her protector. Uh -huh. He said, wait a minute. Bring my wife up one more time. Uh -huh. He said, no more payments. You shut your mouth, I'll, I'll shut, shut my mouth. mouth. And if you agree, nah. He said. <laughs> <laughs> I said, ooh. Shut, and shut him down. also got, he, he said, I heard you been having some problems with your guards. I'm going to get that transferred for you. Yeah. So I'm wondering, was this around the time where Charlie Murphy had uh, yeah. gotten really, really sick and he couldn't yeah. film no more. And so, they transferred and him they out. And they transferred him out. Mm -hmm. So that was basically it. That was it. But I, I hope that at this point, but I was hoping that she kept that guy doing video rolling to see when um, Mike went in there and planted that gun. Right. So maybe in the next few maybe episodes, next they're going to see her fast forward a little bit more to get that apart. But I hope she do the right thing. Now she know that Ghost is innocent. And she knows that the tape has already been reviewed by Sandoval. Because uh, it, it was on the freaking thing. Last yeah. review by Sandoval. Yeah. I said, so you already know. Yep. You know. Yep. So straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two, two up, up, two down. Holla.